So I talked about this in yesterday's video. Big team battle bandit rifle starts are happening today. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's a thing now. And it's all within the new BTB Unlimited playlist. If you're curious what's in this playlist, it's Oasis. It's 24 seven Oasis. So for all the people who have not been able to play the map, Here's your chance. Not just bandit rifle stars, but we also have campaign variant weapons within this. Now I did have this glorious moment the other day while streaming Halo Infinite on Oasis. So there's only one way to figure out if this mode is actually good and how well it plays out. We have to jump in and test it ourselves and look at us. We got an assault rifle, bandit rifle starts for this match in particular. So the big thing to take a look at within this gameplay itself is going to be how does having an effective ranged weapon like a bandit rifle affect your usage of the sandbox while playing Halo Infinite. Oh my God, this guy with the Warhog is going crazy. There we go, we got one kill out of that. So yeah, big thing to take away is uh, look at going like, what's gonna happen if you have a bandit rifle start because someone's interrupting my commentary with the freaking mic. Hey, yo, someone going through Hurricane Katrina? You good, man? Yeah, but someone need to check up on that guy. Some odd reason, someone again was uh, playing the game in the middle of a hurricane apparently because holy crap, that mic was crazy. But yeah, before I was full rudely interrupted by someone playing a game within a hurricane, I was gonna be curious to see how the sandbox now elements play out within BTB because you have a it's a decent ranged weapon now with the bandit rifle to start out with. Was that gonna make some weapons redundant or less effective? I don't mean like I just picked up a shock rifle because well the shock rifle's nasty in this game. See this guy on my radar and I do not like him pushing me. No! Well, it was fun while it lasted. So now like say like right now I have like the commando and the bandit rifle, so I feel like it might be a little kind of redundant on the mid long range kind of engagement stuff. But again, the commander does also put in work at close range. Oh my goodness, I'm getting shot in the back. Got him one shot. And we got him. Yeah, I had to bust out the commander. I'm just more reliable with it. I, it's my tried and true. I've been playing it for a year and a half. Yeah, and see, that's why sometimes the bandit at close range doesn't exactly cut it. My initial reaction with those bandit rifles, that it feels good to shoot. It sounds amazing, looks great. I mean, I don't really care much without the scope on it. I mean, that's kind of like whatever. Oh, look at this guy right here. My DMR bandit rifle. Perfect shot. Oh, that's so satisfying. I will say that the frame rate on Oasis. Oh my. I will say the frame rate on Oasis before I was so rudely interrupted is uh, pretty choppy. Like, I'm trying to play, I'm trying to play and record and get 144 frames and that's just not happening. In fact, we're doing this right here. Though it is nice when I spawn in with the bandit that I feel like at least I have some form of a fight against some of the sandbox within Halo Infinite. Because with BTP, I mean like, you got this, you got guys like that sniped us earlier, you got people with battle rifles and just like literally everything you can pick up is going to be better than what you have compared to like a little itty bitty sidekick and like just take down this wasp right here. Don't you dare! Don't you- What? What? I don't care what anybody says. We shot him enough times where he should have been stunned. Yeah, I definitely feel like at closer range of the DMR. So I'm gonna keep calling it a DMR by accident. I mean, come on. 13 years of Halo engraved in my memory. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, I wish I missed the explosion from the top. No! That could have been so cool to look at. It was really cool. I just didn't see the rest of it. Oh my god, this wasp will not leave me alone. Somehow we're winning this match, but it's definitely not because of me. I am being cyber bullied right now by this wasp. Oh my god. Okay, well, the game's over. Somehow we won. It's not because of me. First impression, uh, couldn't tell you. The match went by super quick. We got demolished. Hey, but this time we have a friend who joined our lobby. So that's an instant win, right? Oh my goodness. This time it's Fiesta Total Control. All right. This is going to be uh, interesting to say the least. At least this time we should kind of focus up the action a little bit more. So then we know what the heck is going to be happening. Now you do see with the Fiesta version, they actually add in the campaign variants of a lot of the equipment in here. So you actually have full on insanely wacky stuff you can play around with. Oh my. So this is going to be absolute chaos. Uh, we'll, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, this boost has camo with it. Watch this. Check this out. I got an temporary boost when I use it. Watch. Boost. Go camo. Oh, we got one. We saw what happened last time I had the sword. Sniper rifle's about to pop up here. There we go. Oh, this is like the fast fire rate sniper rifle. This is basically a bandit rifle before there was a bandit rifle. 
There we go. And the thing I love about Oasis right now is that this map really allows for a lot of freedom of movement when it comes to vehicles. I've talked about this in my previous videos as well, saying how, oh my god, that D-scope is so weird in that thing. That you have a lot of aerospace you can move around in, you have a lot of ground area you can go around in. They mentioned also like most of the interior areas you can bring a Warhog through. And that was my biggest issue with a lot of stuff with Halo Infinite BTB maps is that like you felt like you were just like so focused on these little narrow hallways to use your vehicles. I mean, I'm used to playing like Halo 3 stuff, like I'm saying like a map like Standoff, right? Where on Standoff, you can just kind of drive around however you like. It's super nice. We have that freedom of movement. Oh, dude, you got, we have one use of this shield. Go. And it's a big ass when you shoot through this, you get electric charges shot through it as well. There's no one here to take advantage of it. Oh, there we go. Watch this. Zap them as well. No, you don't! Let's try this again right here. Place this down. Shoot through the barrier. Zap people along the way. There we go. Oh my god, an arcane sentinel beam is gonna slap. And if you guys don't know how this thing works, oh. This lot is about to find out. There we go. This thing absolutely melts. Well, actually, one of my favorite things to do within the campaign is to load up like a squad of Marines with the arcane sentinel beam and just absolutely go ham on the AI. All right. Hammer boy, I got him. I got him, boy. Oh, he's got a sword? Well, I have a hammer. What you gonna do about it once you recognize a mirror? You're so dead! Dude, this mode is just complete chaos. Nasty, I kind of like it. Smash, baby! Do it again. Watch, I'll do it again. I'll do it again! Diminished hope hammer? Oh, we're double hammering now? Oh my goodness. Here we go, here it comes. I'll do this diminished hope. Yes! Oh, hey! Same these dude. The threat sensor, they walk in this threat sensor, they're just on it the whole time. There's no pulse or anything to it. They're just on it. Dude, this like it's freaking cool. Might not be as effective as this gravity hammer, but this is just way more fun to use. Watch this, we'll do it again. What's this what does this plasma pistol do anyways? Uh it kinda looks like a plasma pistol to me. Oh, it shoots like a burst? Alright, that's another win. So the team assistance was absolutely crucial i kind of want to just play one more to get a good sense of how this whole thing plays out absolutely kate hammer bros all right some big team escalation slayer some more nutty chaos on this one but this is one i was actually looking forward to i heard there were campaign variants mixed in with this as well but we'll see how it plays out Dude, the amount of rockets are going off right now in this lobby or is just too damn high Dude, who is beeping in the chat right now oh get wrecked this is why you gotta do this right here oh my god now that everyone has swords it's so quiet in this lobby <laughs> oh and i just fell off the map also let's just look at this like how is this not absolutely gorgeous this will make any bad if this was a bad map which is not it would make it good just for how good this map looks there we go, that's some team mark right there. So it looks like all the lows are basically the same from the 4v4 version, but this time with just a lot more people in it. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for a little bit of extra nonsense, maybe throw some vehicles in here or something like that with a random assortment or something, but it looks like not to be the case. It's just kind of, you know, escalation slayer, but this time with more players. And kind of like what I mentioned in my video that I posted on Monday, just kind of talking about seeing escalation slayer, like it's nice. It's fun, but is it really anything I'm going to be actively searching out for? Like, oh, I got to play Escalation Slayer. I mean, not really. I'm not, it's not really my cup of tea anyways. It's a fun party game. It's glad they have it mixed in here, but I mean, I'm not going to be losing my mind if uh, one, if it gets removed or two, if they add it into the game. I was just kind of helping for more bandit rifle stars, but the game's like, how about we just do a bunch of other stuff that you'd rather not do? I'm like, well, I guess like it's fun and all, but not exactly what I'm looking for, but maybe we'll see with regular BTB that they'll have bandit Bandit rifle starts. We saw within at least the first part of this video with Bandit Rifle Stars that it was a kind of an interesting way to play the game. I think the biggest thing with Bandit Rifle Stars is that it really does give players that are just spawning a chance to fight back, really. Oh, speaking of the devil, we got the bandit right here. Now the recall on this bandit rifle, it definitely is significant. Really kind of stops you from really being able to spam across the map, especially with it being a hit scan weapon, just like the battle rifle, so you don't have to bother leading your shots. You just point, click, and well, there you go. It does like a good job of kind of sitting in that middle ground area between like where the commando and battle rifle sit but we'll see if there's any kind of tunings i mean i know a lot of people i've seen in the comments talk about it, saying that the bandits like has too much recoil 
and it's not really that fun to use. But then I've also seen people say that they absolutely love how it works. So I think it kind of just comes down to personal preference. Here's a solid sidekick setup right here. No guarantees with this weak ass fire. Oh my gosh, why do there have to be so many of those guys all right there? At least I'm getting some assists. I'm not getting kills, that's one thing that's not happening. Right back at ya! There we go! <laughs> it never gets old. Now, apparently that's like a, counts as a half kill or whatever. But to me, that's a whole hearted enjoyment. Oh my gosh, we brought it back. Now we're on the, <laughs> we're on the oddball now. I don't want to be the first one. No, look at those guys. Oh my gosh, look at that squad. <laughs> it's literally the entire lobby. All running as a pack together. Holy crap. Uh, that's just, okay. This is where the fun actually happens is right here. Oh my goodness. Run. Oh, I baited you, baby. Let's go. No. Hey, we, we got the win. It, it happened. All right, so initial impressions. Glad I got a chance to really sink our teeth in the play Oasis. It's a really cool map. The visuals, like I said, are incredible. I think the format of the map is really good as well. If anything, this is such a large map. There, there's a lot of freedom of movement, which I think has been such an issue with BTB at the moment. This is like the first like vehicle focused map. And so I'm really excited about that. Escalation Slayer was a little bit of a letdown. I was hoping for some vehicle play to happen, but it's really just gun game with more players on it. Now, my biggest concern about Bandit Rifle starts was alleviated by playing it this time around. Because my biggest concern is that since the Bandit Rifle is a hit scan weapon, you just need to click and it goes straight. You don't have to lead your shots like you do in Halo 3 or anything. Like that. I was afraid people would be sitting on top of rooftops, just kind of sniping people across the map. That's not the case. You have a significant amount of recoil. The red reticle range is less than half of what the battle rifle is. Of course, I would need significantly more time with the bandit rifle stars to really get a good idea of how well it plays out on the other maps. But for this map in particular, I think it played all right for the first impression at least. But let me know what you think about bandit rifle starts in the comments down below.